today you're getting an inside look at some incredible homes for sale in America's finest city. So let's find your perfect home. I'm Claire McKee. Welcome to On the Block. Please help me welcome my first guests, Rebecca Monge and Alicia Tanksley with Professional Realty Services International. Hi ladies, how are you? Great. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for coming downtown today. It's beautiful down here. And it is a beautiful day today. We are so lucky. So we're going to talk about Fallbrook today. That's your neighborhood, right? Yep. We're going to talk about a specific community, Lake Rancho Viejo community. Okay. Uh, it's where me and my kids live and uh, it's, a, it's a phenomenal community right at the 15 and the 76. Okay. A little over 700 homes with bike trails, walking trails, a brand new playground, and a whole bunch of other playgrounds and tennis courts. I mean, I love this neighborhood. Okay, so it's near and dear to your heart. Yes. It's where you live. It's what you call home. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's a lot that this little community offers. A ton. Right. And it's not that little of a community. It's about 750 homes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. So. Okay. That's and right. And right in a great jumping off point. It is in Fallbrook, but it's in the Bonsall School District, okay. which is a great thing. Yeah. But it's just a real community. I love living there because, I mean, all the neighbors are nice and everybody talks to each other. There's lots of Marines. There's lots of police. Mm. Uh, there's Feel safe. That's right. Lots of, lots of firemen that live there. Everybody talks to each other. Everybody walks their dogs. A strong Facebook community. They do chili cook-offs. I mean, we do community events there. I love that. And, it, and it's, I feel like it's a great place to raise a family. Okay, well, I've known you for a while, Rebecca, and one thing I do know to be true about you is that you help host an Easter egg hunt every single year, and I'm pretty sure that's coming up. That's right. That, this is our fourth annual Easter egg hunt for Lake Rancho Viejo. And uh, last year we hit over 3,000 eggs. Wow! Yeah. 3,000. Mm -hmm. Were you stuffing those eggs yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> and we uh, we do snow cones. Snow cones, cotton candy, as much as you want. Unlimited. No limit. <laughs> no limit. So we get them all sugared up first yeah. before the egg hunt. Then go run and find yeah. the eggs. Which is perfect for the bunny sack races. Right. So the kids love doing the bunny sack races. We have prizes for all the bunny sack races. Yeah. And, uh, and we also do free raffles for the adults. We get some great gift baskets from our, our sponsors. Oh, I and love our, it. Uh, title and escrow people. Yeah. And so, so there's something in it for the parents too. Something for the adults. And, and um, do we have to sign up for this? I mean, how can we participate? Do we just show up? Yeah, we want everybody to just show up at 10 a.m. Okay. and uh, sign up for the free raffles, get a coat, snow cone, cotton candy, you know, kind of a meet and greet. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of realtors spend a lot of their money on, on Zillow and billboards and very expensive advertising that you're flooded with day and night. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. We take our money and we put it back into the communities where we live and work. I love that. And so I, I do this obviously because I've got four kids in the neighborhood that want to hunt for eggs. Yeah. But also it's it's our way of we want to meet people. We tell people come come meet us. Yeah. We, we live here. We work here, and uh, we're realtors. And you know, I mean, so it's kind of a it's a. It's just our form of advertising because yeah. we want to meet real people and be real people. Well, and I think the realest thing is to just give back to the community right. in which you live in and serve that community and those that you're closest to. Right. We want to make it better. I love that so much. So what's the Facebook page if we want to find out more? Because I know you mentioned you have a community Facebook page. So if we want to find Lake out what's happening. Lake Rancho Viejo has their own community page. Okay. And that's, you know, where we'll post this. Yeah. And I'm obviously on my own Facebook and Alicia's right. Facebook and stuff. Sure. So follow along. Right. And we're going to go around and we have coloring pages for the kids. Everybody who brings us a colored page, colored, mm -hmm. gets a free prize. Awesome. And so, so just participate. And yeah, just what day does out, Easter fall this year? How many weeks out it's, are we? It's April 11th is the okay. Easter egg hunt. Okay. And it starts at 10 a.m. Awesome. Well, I'm going to see you for the Easter egg hunt. Let's go. Please. Are, are you going to bury more than 3,000 this year? Are we trying to top oh, last we year? We can't tell the number. <laughs> it's a secret how they many. They have to guess that number. I'm pretty sure there's still golden eggs from last year that were <laughs> yeah. never found. So. Right, and we've got great golden egg prizes. They were right? so well. Prizes, right. No one found it. <laughs> well, ladies, it's been great to see you. Thanks so much for sharing what's happening in your community, and we'll see you really soon. My next guest is Amy DeLeon with Berkshire Hathaway. 
Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, Amy, where are we heading with your listing today? So we're heading to Win and Sea Beach in La Jolla. Win and Sea, completely iconic, but for those who aren't super familiar, what draws people to that neighborhood? Well, for one, it's a world-class surfing destination, mm -hmm. and it's a great place where you can live, where people vacation, yes. and enjoy the beach, and then you're also walking distance to a lot of different things around La Jolla, and not too far from the center of the village, too. So true, and there is so much to do in La Jolla. Definitely. Let's get into the specifics, though, of the home. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, paint the picture for us. Yeah, so it's a penthouse, fourth floor, Ooh. condo. Um, all redone, it's gorgeous, and it's a two bedroom, two bath, uh, 950 square feet roughly. Okay. And the, the list price is 949,000. Okay, so we're getting a penthouse suite for under a million dollars at Wind and Sea. Right, with an ocean view. With an ocean view. And you're just a half of a block to the beach. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is what people come to San Diego and they want to buy into that lifestyle. Like, this is it, right? Yep, this is it. Uh, anything else we should know about the home specifically? Are there any amenities we should be aware of? I, uh, you know, you don't really need a lot of amenities when you're so close to the beach. Right. So there isn't a pool or anything, but you're getting all that you need right there. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and as far as walkability, you said we're a block from the beach. Less than a block, Less half a block. Half a block from yes. the beach. So you can smell and taste that ocean air and yes. you have a view of it. Yep, so there's this brand new Valley Farm Market, which is a gourmet, but also has you know basic necessities. Okay. Um, very nice produce, you can grab a meal to go. Yes. It's really wonderful. Adulting 101, like I need to know where the grocery store is and totally. I want it to be close, and it's right? it's right there within reach. Um, also great coffee shops, a bagel shop liquor store, a little dive bar, lots right there. Yeah, I can only imagine that we are checking every person's dream box when they come to La Jolla and see this condo. Thank you so much for sharing, Amy. Yeah, thank It was really you. great to see you. Awesome. Well, and it's also wow. um, underneath Maxine and Marty Gellens. I'm oh. on their team. Yes. And um, my coworker, Mark Magstad, has this listing. No way. Okay. So, yeah, yeah we they're the 30 year legends in the area. Absolutely. That's yeah. so amazing. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to share this Thank listing you. with us today. Thanks for having me. You. Yes, you too. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. My next guest is Bridget Adams with Coldwell Banker West. Hi Bridget, how are you? I'm wonderful, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Thanks for coming out on this beautiful sunny San Diego day to Half Door Brewing. Thank you so much for having me. As a matter of fact, my listing is just a half a block away from here. So yeah, it's so oh, convenient. This yeah. is perfect. So I was gonna say, where are we heading with your listing? Let's, We're going right down the street. Let's go right down the street. Okay, what, tell us the address, give us the details. What's okay, so it's on? 575 Sixth Avenue. It's in the Alta building. It's uh, the southeast corner on the 14th floor. It is absolutely Absolutely incredible. Um, so the unit is 1403. Yeah, you said 14th floor, and I'm like, views, yeah. what are we looking at? Well, the 14th floor is very special in Alta. It's the, the floor where you have, each corner has a 900 square foot wraparound balcony that not, nobody else in the building has. 900 square yeah. feet of balcony alone. In downtown San Diego. Wow, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. It, it, it's absolutely spectacular. It's a very rare unit to come on the market. They very, like I said, very rarely come in the market. My seller is the original owner wow. and um, just decided that it's time to move on to something else. It's time, but that means that somebody else gets to take advantage of this amazing opportunity that it's, doesn't come around very often. It's an incredible opportunity. The view from the terrace is 180 degree spanning view of East County, downtown San Diego, Petco Park. You see Tijuana in the distance, the Coronado Islands the Br Coronado Bridge, all the way to Point Loma, Open oh Ocean, gosh. San Diego Bay. It's absolutely incredible. So you have sunrise to sunset views. Oh my gosh. I know. Normally it's like, yeah, you get sun in the morning or you get sun in the afternoon. Yeah. You've got sun all day here. You do. And, and the unit itself is very generous. It's a beautiful two bedroom, two bath. Um, all decorator finishes. It's 1195 square feet, okay. nine and a half foot ceilings, floor to ceiling, operable windows throughout. Um, but but when you add this outdoor living space where you can have a gas grill, you could do a fire pit. It's covered. You could have your own um, 
movie room outside. You have your oh dining room. Gosh. You have your yoga. You, it, it's absolutely incredible. So we have 1,100 square feet inside. 1,198, yes. But then we have another 900 outside. That's what makes it so special. You're almost doubling your square footage. You have the lifestyle of down, the sexy urban lifestyle of living downtown. We're yeah. right on the edge of East Village and, and Gaslamp. Mm -hmm. So you've got Seersucker right there. We're on the corner of Six and Market. Um, you look into Petco Park um, and you have all the edginess of East Village, yeah. which is becoming more and more interesting as well with, mm -hmm. with the Brits coming in. Yes. Downtown San Diego is, is really, it's going to be an unbelievable place to live moving forward and the values yeah. are incredible. It's a great place to live right now. That's what I was going to say, yeah. but with all the development that is happening, now is the time you want to get It's a get great in. investment. You're only going to double your money moving forward. Absolutely. And yeah. speaking of doubling money, what is the price point? So on it's, a, it's it's $1,069. Okay. Um, the HOAs are only six twenty eight. We have two parking spaces side by side. You've got a storage cage and a lot of storage um, room within the parking garage yeah. um, there's a beautiful pool spa fitness studio common area um, which is e which has its own little kitchen and, and beautiful yeah. area for entertaining with tons of outdoor living space moving on to the pool deck it's really like owning a big home but you're in downtown San Diego it sounds absolutely perfect. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. You have a great amount of space. You have the lifestyle. You have the walkability. Mm -hmm. And I heard two parking spaces in there. That side matters. Side by side. Side by side. Yeah, not tandem. Yeah. Right next to the right next to the elevator. So awesome. you, have, you it's you you're a VIP in the building. Bridget, thank you so much for taking the time to share this listing with us. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Come and take a look at the listing I'm, right now. Let's, let's go. go. We're shaking okay. martinis. Deal. Let's Deal. do it. My next guest is Chris Tugood with Tugood Realty. Hi Chris, how are Hello. you? Great, great. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So, it. where are we going with your listing today? So, my listing today is in Coronado. Okay. And, you know, I love Coronado. I've actually lived in Coronado for 35 years. Have I you? I live there now. So say you had me at Coronado, but please keep going. It's, they do call <laughs> it the crown jewel of San Diego. Yes. And it really is really delightful living there. I mean, it's uh, still laid back. Mm -hmm. It's not pretentious. Mm -hmm. And I just love coming home when I work around San Diego, park my car, and then I just ride my bike or walk around town. The best. And um, people are just really friendly there. And the beaches yeah. are beautiful. We got, mm -hmm. you know, getting rated number one, which actually, I wish it wouldn't make the magazine all the time. <laughs> I want my beach to myself a little bit, but... Um, Quit spreading the secret, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then, of course, we have... I'm actually on the Parks and Rec Commission, and we have beautiful parks. Okay. And uh, the golf course is still only... I think it's $32. It's a community golf course. Coronado owns it. Really? Owns it. Yeah, so there's no... It's like a... Almost like a non-profit. We actually took a lot. Yeah. yeah. And you'd think it'd be triple that in Coronado, right? It's a gorgeous golf course. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's so many little amenities there that are really nicely taken care of yeah. with the city with all our tax money we make from hey, hey, selling hey. houses. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite things though is to chat with somebody who lives in the community that they're selling, right? right. Who better to talk about the back roads and what you're really buying into than somebody who lives and breathes that every day. I think it's getting more and more important. I mean, mm. that's going to be our niche is like they call it hyper localized or yeah. whatever. But like, for example, three homes I sold last year that weren't even on the market. Yeah. You know, so I'm right there. I know what's going on. Yeah. And then this little listing is going to be cute. It's uh, it is on 4th Street, mm -hmm. but it's going to be the lowest priced square foot uh, house detached house in Coronado when it comes on. So it's just coming soon. Get yeah. out. So it'll be inexpensive. Oh, okay. A million two. Relatively yeah, though. Relatively inexpensive. And it's really cute. Totally taken care of and ready to go. So. Okay, so let's talk about it. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Paint that picture. What's All right, it look like? Thousand square feet, two bedroom, one bath. Okay. But it's so cute. It's just a cute little cottage. It's got the uh, a full garage mm -hmm. and then an extra parking spot that's actually got a fence around it too. And oh, then nice. a really nice yard. Okay. And it's soundproof inside, so you don't notice fourth at all. Okay. Um, I, I like going there and, and talking to the seller, and I actually really enjoy the house. It's going yeah. yeah. to go pretty quick. And is it aesthetically ready to go? Do we oh, need to do 100%. some upgrades? No, no. She's touched 
painted. Everything. Everything's done. Completely. And remodeled recently. Over the last two years, it's been completely remodeled. So bring your toothbrush yeah. and get ready That's for right. everything Coronado That's has right. to offer. We'll, we'll put bikes in the garage for you. And yeah. You can just go from there. Have your little boogie boards and surfboards. And no kidding. Go live the life. It's, the, it is. It's, it's like island life, but you're almost right in the middle of a city. Right. What more could it, it you took want? Me, it took me five minutes to drive downtown. Maybe six. Yeah. From my house. Yeah, seven on a real bad day. Yeah, okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I love it. Uh, and what did you say the price point is on this one? One point two five. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, again, to get into Coronado. It's a detached home. Detached home. Got your home. own little yard, private, all fenced. Yeah. And she just redid the uh, the you know artificial turf. Okay. So it's beautiful. it's really cute. You got to come check it out all for right. yourself. It sounds like Chris. Thanks yeah. so much for Thank taking you. the time. Thanks. For it was great Thanks to see you. My next guest is Johnny Perez with Compass. Johnny, what's going what's on? What's going on? Welcome back. Good it's to see you. It's so good to see you. Uh, tell me, where are we going with real estate today? We are going to a wonderful community called Eastlake. Eastlake. Yes. What's good in the neighborhood? What draws people to oh this area? Oh my God. Eastlake, first of all, has one of the top school districts in San Diego. Big one. So that's huge right there, yeah. right? All the families. It's family oriented, right? Great neighborhood. Uh, lots of shopping centrally located still. Mm -hmm. You still get San Diego nice weather. Yeah. Uh, wonderful newer community. Okay. Okay. Newer built. Yeah. Um, and so today we're going to take a look at the wonderful listing here in the Winding Walk community. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about, what is it? What did you say? Winding Walk. Winding Walk. Yeah. Okay. Do we wind throughout the you walk? You do. You do. You get to wind and walk. Yeah. And you play. wind and you walk That's here. Right. That's right. Uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Sort of paint that picture. What's all about this listing? Absolutely. It's a, it's a unique property. It's a corner lot, first okay. of all and it has one of the biggest lots in the community, okay? Four bedrooms, three baths, over 2,400 square feet. Also a loft in there as well. Nice. So a lot of families in Eastlake are coming, a lot of military families, mm -hmm. um, and, and they're looking for that type of home with that type of square footage, so yeah. it fits perfect. That fourth bedroom goes a long way. It does, it does. And you still have the loft upstairs, so the kids still have their own, their own little, little play area. A little extra space, no one lounge. complains, you know? Exactly, exactly. Um, again, you have the trails that are up there, East okay. Lake Trails. Um, so so much to do for the family. Once yeah. you're there, I, I kind of call it like the little bubble. Yeah. You, know, East, you don't East have bubble. to leave. No, everything's okay. there. Don't and stop. as far as aesthetics, when we walk in, like what can people expect? Oh, well, this home is beautiful. First of all, it looks like a model. Home. Yeah. So if you take a look here at the pictures and, and, and the video we shot on it, it looks like a complete model home open floor plan which is huge nowadays because the family wants to see what's going on in the kitchen and, and whoever's cooking yeah we're like what's on tv i don't want to be estranged over That's here right. in my corner i hey, want to hang out me? what about me yeah so it's really nice open floor plan family room uh separate dining room area um actually also has what's called a mud room which okay. you don't see a lot of times, right? When I feel you like you're in. taking me back to my Midwest roots with a mudroom. <laughs> I haven't heard anybody call it that in a really long time. Yes, yes. So that's a nice little mudroom uh -huh. there, two-car attached garage. Uh, and then the master bedroom is great because uh, the balcony that, that, that comes off the master actually overlooks the mountains and the hills there. Great. Uh, and you can actually get a little sneak peek of uh, Mexico as well. Yeah, and you just get a little more elbow room in East Lake, that's you know? Right. What's the price point on this one? This one is listed at 648888. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know you're asking why all the eights, Johnny. My clients were big Kobe Bryant fans. Oh, yes. even better than what yes. I thought you were going to yes. say. Nope. And so we did the 648888. Oh, I love that. And yes. we just had 224 day. That was yesterday. That right? was yesterday. Yes, oh my correct. gosh. Gives me chills. And eight's the number of infinity, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's right. right. Anything else we should know, Johnny? Come by and see it before it's gone. Come check it out. That's right. Swipe right on the home, yeah? Swipe right on the One home. One could say it's that. Perfect for you. There you go. Johnny, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. As always. My next guest is Lauren Livingston with Big Block Realty. Hi, Lauren. Hi, this is so exciting. <laughs> I know, I missed you. I missed you too. So good to be here. It's great to see you. Uh, where are we heading with your listing today? So, we are going to be out in Lakeside. Okay. Yes. So, it's more East County, really warm out there, beautiful, sunny, all sunny yeah. days. You get a little no extra sunshine, there. right? Yes, a little extra sunshine. <laughs> so it's a great, a great place. And I'm super excited about this house because it's like a unique opportunity. Okay. Because it's got a granny flat. Oh. So that's why you go to Lakeside is, is for that extra space. You know, Family. that's the lifestyle there. Absolutely. Room for all of your toys. And that's why people go further out East. So this property has that. And this granny flat rents for $1,300 a month. So it's already making money. It's already making money. Tenant is amazing, wants to stay. Oh my gosh. He'll leave, but he does want to stay if somebody wants that. So That's like best case scenario ever. And yes. He's wonderful. He's been helping the owners get the house ready. Like he's just a good, 
good guy. So okay. that, I'm telling people, I'm like, so if $1,300 is deducted from your mortgage payment because it's coming in every month solid, it's effectively like buying a $550,000 house. That is a complete game changer for so many people. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, if you're thinking you wanna buy a $600,000 house, but there's no granny flat, mm -hmm. this is your opportunity to buy a 725 house and get that granny flat and effectively be paying the same mortgage. No kidding. Okay, so I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's get into the nitty gritty bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, sort of paint that picture when people walk in. Okay, great. So it's a three bedroom, two full baths, and the granny flat is a one bedroom, one bath. Okay. What's cool about the granny flat is that it has all the same finishes as the main house. So they're twins. It's they cohesive. match. Like, it's so pretty. It's got all the same granite, all the same antique white cabinetry. Like it's so, so pretty. Yeah. So this house is the farm style. Okay. So you've got this really pretty white kitchen, but again with that antique finish. So it's mm -hmm. unusual. It's a unique kitchen. Yeah. It's got a framed subway tile backsplash, which is really cool and super open. So you've got waterfall granite countertops. Ooh. And so they just like flow into these amazing original hardwood floors Beautiful. that are throughout everywhere. I love it. And into this huge living area. So your dining, your living, and your kitchen are all wide open. So it's perfect. That's what everyone wants when they're having family and friends over, entertaining, even just cooking for the family. Like yeah. you want that open floor plan to be able to see everyone and mingle. Yep, it's um, got that. What price point are we looking at for this 700 home? 700 to 725. Okay. It's on a range. So we're not officially on the market yet, mm -hmm. but we will be in the next couple of days. Okay. So it's gonna be open on the weekend. So we're just gonna get a lot of traffic through there. Yeah. And I know it's gonna be busy because it's such a great house, such a great price. Yep. It's got really pretty view windows okay. everywhere. So you've got really pretty mountainscapes out of all all the windows that are yeah. everywhere. And for people who are thinking like Lakeside, like mm -hmm. East County, is that far? Like how far am I from downtown? Kind of tell us relatively. Yeah, you're 20 minutes from downtown. It's so simple. It's yep. freeway the whole time. This property is not far off the freeway. So okay. once you exit, you're just a few minutes off the exit yeah. to the property. It's in a neighborhood, although this is a 1.3 acre lot. So you've got a huge lot, Love but that. you're not by yourself. Mm -hmm. Which I have a lot of people that are like a little bit weird about being totally alone. They don't like want to be too in the much dark. space, right? <laughs> yeah. Like if something like, happens to me, who's gonna know? <laughs> exactly, like who's gonna hear me scream, yes. you know? I mean, I kind of a little bit no, have that. So that's real. this is like that. You feel like you're alone, yeah. but there is neighborhoods all around you, okay. and you're super close to schools, you're super close to all the shopping and the dining that Lakeside has to offer. So, sure. I think we're checking all the boxes. Yeah. And I'm still coming back to we have $1,300 that is coming in on this property yeah. every single month to help yes. me pay that mortgage yes. payment. Yep. Oh my goodness. And this property has got its own driveway, it's got its own private entrance. So, you'll never even know that they're there. It's, yeah. It's ideal. And this property has solar. That's okay. owned. Check another box. Actually owned. So it's like one out of ten properties that oh are gosh. actually owned solar. Okay. So it's owned and it covers for the main house and the guest house. Oh, and were you worried about your electric bill? Because we've got you covered there exactly. too. Yep. And that wow. with rent. I mean, your tenant is not having to worry about electric bill either. So absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Lauren, thank yeah. you so much for bringing us this amazing opportunity. Thank it was you. so good to see you. It was so good to see you. Thank you. Likewise. My next guest is Michael Traconis with Colo Baker Del Mar. Hi. Hi, Michael. I just want to know, which camera am I looking at? All of them, all at the same time. So just have one eye on each of Maybe them. Maybe I just look at you. Then. Yeah, let's hang out. Hi. How are you? I am mm, fine. You're just fine? Yeah, I'm, I'm just fine. I'll be better after this because I'll spend time with you and I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm happy mostly, but I'll be happier. Michael, where are we going with your auction property today? Down the street. If Literally. You, if you went out on the balcony here, you would see the horizons. Yeah, so we're at Half Door Brewing, by the way. 901 Island. Mm -hmm. So we are First Avenue. So nine blocks, eight blocks on yeah. the map. And um, right on uh, Marina District. Uh, That's where people want to be. 11th floor. Uh, Southwest exposure, okay. romantic sunsets if you have somebody. Um, and if you don't, you can still have romance by yourself with a cat or a dog. I have two cats, so that would be me. So, what, what are their names? <laughs> Chester and Panda. Chester and Panda. Sounds like, uh, okay. All right, Chester and Panda. 
romantic, I'm sure. But it's very romantic. Um, you get to see Point Loma, uh, Cabrillo Monument, um, Coronado Island, mm -hmm. and then the actual Coronado Islands out there in the Pacific Ocean. Right. Embarcadero. And then from the master bedroom, you're looking up um, First Avenue. I should look in the camera. Sorry, I'm no, looking you're down. You're Sorry. fine. I might be nervous. <laughs> uh, I'm not. We're Leos. We're not I nervous. I know, we're it's not all. nervous. But 1105, it's two bedroom, two bath. Okay. Um, it was coming soon, a while ago. And we talked about it on a show maybe four or five weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's gone through a Cobalt Banker renovation plan called Revitalize. Oh. So they have new carpeting, painting, and they refinished the floor. Cobalt Banker paid for it up front and all they expect is to be paid back at the close of escrow. Okay, so that's that, amazing. I didn't know Coldwell did that. Yep, Real Vitalize is part of a Home Advisor partnership <laughs> with Coldwell Banker. So Home Advisor, you know, you've seen the commercials on TV. Mm -hmm. They get you the best contractors for the going price that things are done. So they did that, they completed it last week, and uh, we're live. This is exciting, so it's live now. Mm -hmm. I know we're gonna be doing a little open house. I'm gonna see you there. Yes. 3.30 to 5.30 open houses because the sunsets are so great. You have to see it. How yeah. many bedrooms and bathrooms is There's this? There's two bedroom, two bath. Okay. Um, 1,200 square feet, more or less. Mm -hmm. Two parking spaces, and that's important, isn't it? Yes, it's correct. Thank you. That is. Two parking spaces underground. Um, you could sell those. You, you, could, <laughs> you could. Seriously. I, I was in the parking. There's three levels, and they actually have like a little tiny Zamboni. That, you know, that's the thing that cleans the ice during hockey games. Oh, yeah. So the guy's cleaning the floors. The whole parking space is clean. I don't know if that means something to you. If it does, <laughs> seven six zero five seven one ninety ninety. If you're in, if you're OCBD. OCD. OCD. What's the B? I don't know. Let's figure that one out later. Um, if be. you're obsessive compulsive yeah. and you like the floors of your parking deck to be extraordinarily clean via a Samboni. Right. Michael Giacona says the property for you. Six ninety nine is the starting bid price. Do you know the story? Just come in, tell us what the value is. All the disclosures, reports are up front. Super easy. I'll help you. Yeah. Um, so to his point, it's not a super traditional real estate sale. Michael does his homes by auction platform with Coldwell Banker. And like you said, it's a really unique way to have a completely transparent process where Here's what you're getting, here's what you need to know, here's what needs to be worked on, all of that's laid out on the front end, what do you want to pay for it, right? I am so proud that you got it done. <laughs> I, and you are showing up at the open house this Saturday, well, any Saturday, 3.30 yes. to 5.30. There you go. Um, 510 First Avenue, 1105, give me a call. Yeah. But super excited, you've got gas lamp walking distance, you got seaport walking distance, you got Little Italy, a short little Uber ride. Mm -hmm. um, Every time I'm there, I could see myself living there. So even if I don't sell it, I'll probably rent it out. <laughs> there you go. But I have a feeling somebody's gonna see this and get really excited. Absolutely, I mean, if there's an executive in Chicago where it's cold and the weather kind of sucks all mm -hmm. the time, and you've got a West Coast client base, you're coming out here, landing in Lindbergh, coming into the, to the uh, Horizon District, yep. Marina District, and yep. you've got your little base of operation. That's it. We're selling that San Diego lifestyle. What better to do so than right in the heart of downtown? Look at this place, though. Yeah. We have... All time, my encyclopedias. Timetables of Irish history. <laughs> right? right? It's because I need to know that. Listen, I, it's through my Irish eyes, okay? That's I'm, right. I just found out you're, you're Irish or something. McKee. Claire McKee, eh? Hey. Oh. Is that oh. Canadian? Oh. So? Michael, is there anything else we should know about this home? I think we knocked um, it out. Mm, just come and see it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You have to see it in person. Absolutely. And if you have a listing that's not moving, give me a call. Um, definitely love to help other realtors sell their product. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you so much, Michael. You know it's always a pleasure. You're my favorite person. Oh. My next guest is Monet Love with Compass. Monet, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. <laughs> Thanks for coming out today. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. So we're talking all things East County all today. All things East County. Yes. Okay, so East County is obviously near and dear to you. It's where you live. It's where exactly. your family is. 
For people who aren't super familiar, what draws people to East County? So East County is super dynamic. Like what people don't understand is obviously San Diego County is so big, right? Mm -hmm. um, East County allows um, for families to rate, for families to live there and the affordability factor mm -hmm. is what's huge in East County because you can get um, homes condos for 300,000 and homes for 200, you know, 2 million dollars, right? right? So that's the thing that we really want to focus on in these counties that there's such good diversity there where you can raise a family. There the housing market is absolutely phenomenal there. There's a good school system. Yeah. Um, there's so many different attributes to East County that people don't realize yeah. and that's why I really love working there. Well, people sort of have this misconception that like you are out in the sticks. Like right. East County, like where, right. where's that, right. Right? right? But but you're not. You're tell us like you're super central to all sorts of things. Exactly. So downtown is only like 21 minutes away from, Nothing. from East County. Mm -hmm. East County is compromised of so many different areas. You have La Mesa, which is still like kind of college area. Mm -hmm. You have Alpine, you've got Hummel, you've got Santee, Fletcher Hills, that's where I live, which okay. is still kind of La Mesa. Mm -hmm. um, and so within those communities, you have so many different opportunities, you know, and, and that's what people don't really understand yeah. is, is the opportunities that are in East County. There's a um, new build development that's in Santee that's mm -hmm. absolutely phenomenal. All the houses have solar. Um, the housing prices are like six hundred thousand and up. That's and amazing. Then you have, right and for then a brand new home. Brand new home. Okay. Brand new home right across from Wessels High School. And then you have the other side of East County um, that also have new builds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have so many different pockets that you can live in yeah. to where you're. 20 minutes from downtown, 25 minutes away from Mission Valley, yeah. but you have the affordability factor. And we know in San Diego, it's such a big topic right now, right? It is. Homelessness and San Diego being able to afford it. Are we gonna do rent control? Where's the affordable housing? Exactly. Like, what do we do? Exactly, you have all these factors. So just going a little bit further east mm -hmm. um, will allow you to be a homeowner, to raise your family yes. and not have to be what we call house poor in right. the industry, right? right? Because you have properties that you can't afford there. Well, and I love this. There's there's a strategy behind it, right? right. Like you don't have to be in this home for the rest of your life. This Absolutely. doesn't have to be where you die. Absolutely. But it is an amazing way to get into the market and start building that equity so you can have maybe that dream home in San Diego proper if that's what you want. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So in East County, we still have prices rising or the home values rising 7%, 8%, 9% yeah. per year. So you move in, you get your house, you let that equity build over two, three, four, maybe even five years, and then you can buy that that beachfront property, you know, with that down payment that you built from the equity yep. from the house you bought a little bit further out. Yep. You know? So people really have to understand that there is a strategy to being a homeowner and being a property owner to where especially you, here, right? especially here in San Diego. You know, yeah. most people don't just go and put one hundred fifty thousand dollars down and afford the home that right. they want right now. Right. So you know, in five years goes by so quick. You know, it we're does. already in two thousand twenty. I mean, everybody can remember what we were saying. You know, what we were doing for New Year's two years ago. Right. You know? so, so time flies by really fast and it's just a matter of um, using your priorities and understanding how to do those strategies so you can get to where you want to be. I love that. So figure out where you want to be and where you want to go and Monet can help you. That's Absolutely. so important. Thank you so yeah. much for coming and chatting about yeah, East County and how we can you. get into a home. Thank you so much. Really Thanks for having you. me. Appreciate Thanks. it. My next guest is Robert Weigelt with the Weigelt Group with EXP Realty. Robert, thanks so much for being here. Oh man, it's my pleasure. You kidding me? Half Door is the uh, one of the coolest spots down in East Village. It really is. Yeah. We're so excited love to be it. here. Welcome to my library. Yeah, I love it. I like your uh, your cup holders back <laughs> yeah. there too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so Robert, we're going to talk a little bit about the Weigelt Group today. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in the business? What's going on? Well, you know what? I got in the business back in 1986, was a title rep then a mortgage banker for 15 years, okay. a successful REO broker, and uh, really just been focusing primarily on the traditional real estate market since 2012. Okay. Uh, we have an auction platform that we're using, my team, and we're having just massive success. Uh, we're selling our sellers' homes for the highest and best price in the shortest amount of time. The thing is with our buyers, it's all transparent bidding. Yeah. So there's, I mean, like if you've written an offer for mm -hmm. a buyer, you submit it to the seller, you don't know where everybody else's offer is usually. You're crossing your fingers crossing and your hoping fingers. for the best. And if they come back with you with a multiple counter of the seller, you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to tell you to go in at. Our, pro our process is all transparent bidding. So I don't need to take that liability on. Look at where all the bids are and come in. If you want to come in above that bid, by all means do it. 
I mean, truly Fantastic. transparent. The epitome of transparency. Totally transparent. We actually go to, we end our auctions on Friday at 5, mm -hmm. and we literally have a room full of people watching the auction live on the big screen with the clients. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're even adding the digital component yep, to it. Yep, we're all, we're all about technology. Uh, we don't do brick and mortar offices. EXP is a very, very forward thinking company. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just the way it needs to be. And it's, it's at the end of the day, highest and best price, the shortest amount of time for our sellers, total transparency for our buyers. Mm -hmm. And the agents have a really awesome tool to drive hundreds hundreds of people to their open houses sure. so it's a wonderful thing win-win for everyone well and this is a platform that in other countries people are using regularly and Australia we're just starting to see yeah. it make its way to the u.s for you those watch. who aren't familiar let's talk about that it will become the way to do business yeah i know there's other companies out there that dabble with it and they're tweaking it and whatever auction's not new right what we've done is we've fine-tuned it we've dialed it in you know, from our REO days, our foreclosure days, mm -hmm. you know, Fannie, Freddie, you know, all the different banks, yep. you, know, for, uh, you know, even the IRS and some of those folks, they use a transparent type bidding process and we've just taken that to the residential market. So that's what's going to be my next question actually. What made you hop into the auction world? What made you see this and say, I don't want to do the traditional real estate that everyone else is doing, well, let's do this. There's two things. Number one, it's a, a way for me to take a for sale by owner listing. Because the real reason why a for sale by owner doesn't list with an agent is one reason and one reason only. They don't want to pay a commission. Right. They will pay a commission to the buyer, you know, an agent bringing in the buyer, right. but they just don't want to pay a listing commission because they think they can do it themselves. Sure. Our platform allows us to not only do the transparent bidding, but we charge what's called a buyer premium. So the buyer premium is what pays the listing agent. I see. So the lit the Frisbo, okay. they don't have to pay the commission. It's a beautiful thing. We're taking, we're helping our agents take anywhere between 10, 15, sometimes 20 extra listings per year just because of that alone. That's incredible. So you have a team that you work with as well? I have a pretty good sized team, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if somebody wants to get involved with the auction process, maybe they want to learn from you, become a team member, what's the best way to do so? Well, the best way is I do classes all over the Southern California, Excellent. live classes every single Friday. Okay. This this coming Friday, uh, I'm not sure when this airs, but uh, every Friday yeah. all throughout San Diego, you can go to 14 Day Home Auction and it's it'll tell you right on Facebook. Okay. 14 Day Home Auction. Uh, we're in La Mesa, then we'll be down in Chula Vista, then we're in Temecula, then we're in Orange County, we're in Palm Springs. We're all over Southern California every single Friday. Plus, every Friday, we have a live webinar so they can tune in there to get some bits and pieces of it. I love that. So you're actually sharing your knowledge with everybody else. Yeah, you're here you go. Here's what I do. All transparency. I'm a big fan of transparency not just in the bidding process, but here's what I'm doing to succeed. Yeah. I'm helping my buyers and sellers, but I also want to help my agent community. Robert, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks yeah. so much for sharing yeah. all this with our listeners. Yeah. It was great to see you. My next guest is Garth Hendricks with Century Homes. Hi, Garth. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm so good, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. I love your energy, first of all. Thank I already you. know we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> Where are we going with your listing today? We are going to Spring Valley. Okay, and for people who aren't super familiar, what's good in Spring Valley? What draws people to the neighborhood? Well, Spring Valley to me is essentially located in a part of San Diego County. Uh, you can get to East County, you can get downtown, you can get to North County. That's why I chose this property that is off market, which is in Spring Valley. Okay. Easy access to the 94, the 125, uh, you can get to the 15, etc. Mm -hmm. So it's a very nice up and coming area price point. Well, and this neighborhood I'm sure has a little special something because it's where you live too. Yes, I do. I live in Spring Valley. I've been there for about three years now. Uh, just adjacent of Costa de Oro, which is over by my Helix. Uh -huh. uh, I like the neighborhood because of the different cultures. You know, you have the Hispanic community, you have the Asian community, you have the African American community, mm -hmm. and you have the Caucasian community. Yeah. So as far as everyone coming together, I think it's probably one of the best, best neighborhoods to be into. I love that. And and you're not from here, you're from back east, right? I am, The yes. Midwest. 
Midwest, born and raised in Indianapolis, Indiana. I got family in Memphis, Tennessee, Alabama, in case you can't hear the Southern accent. <laughs> and we're bringing a little of that flavor out here yes, to San Diego. Bring a little, the Southern flair, you know, everyone come together, love everyone, hug everyone. So I love that. That yes. stood out though, because you say that, but you also love how your, your current neighborhood yes. is so much of bringing people together. Yes. Yeah, and even where I live, uh, there's a ver uh, huge variety of different uh, nationalities where I live. Mm -hmm. But we all come together, we look out for each yes. other. You know, if the trash cans need to be put in or we see someone that we don't really know who they are yeah. and everything like that, we go up and, and we look out for each other. That's one of the, the things that I think that is missing in the communities these days. You know, I we're so busy with work agree. and school and all that kind of stuff, so. We forget the humanity factor, which yes. is really all that we have, right, yeah. is each yeah. other. Yeah, and that's what's really important. When you're looking for a neighborhood, you want to, of course, look for the schools and commute to work. But when you get home at the end of the day from mm -hmm. a long work mm -hmm. and you want to maybe let the kids go out, or like me, I have a little doggy. His yeah. name is Gucci. Oh, yeah. So you I ha would have a dog <laughs> named Gucci. <laughs> So we let them out and all the neighbors, if we see a dog that's out, um, we'll come up to that person or the dog and look and see who the dog yeah. belongs to. So it's just about a, a really friendly neighborhood. You have each other's backs and that's totally the community you want to yes. buy into. So let's talk about this listing specifically. It is coming soon. Hit us with the bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, sort of paint that picture for us. Yeah, it's a three bedroom. I think it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Uh, it's over in Dictionary Hill. So for those of you that are familiar with uh, Spring Valley, like myself, I live in a house that has a view of the whole downtown in San Diego area. Beautiful. So it does have a view. Uh, it's a nice single family home. Upstairs, downstairs, two car garage. Uh, fairly new build, it's gonna be coming. It just got listed as of right now, as we're sitting here live. So don't nobody know about this listing as of right now. You're hearing it here You're first. You're hearing it live. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's gonna be, I'll probably be doing an open house maybe this weekend or the following weekend. Okay, mm -hmm. so by the time it comes out, you can hit the, the open house that following weekend. And do we have a price point? Do we have an idea of what we're looking at? We're probably gonna be in the five-ish okay. price range. That's great, right yeah. at that, that San Diego median. Yeah, and that's why I love Spring Valley. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect price point. Yeah. You know, cause sometimes you can be in a certain neighborhood and you'll be out price or yeah. underpriced. So yeah. Spring Valley, it has a, some people give a lot of negativity to Spring Valley but Spring Valley has pockets just like any other neighborhood yeah. out there. So I think it's a great starter home for a family, husband, wife, kids, and family, and stuff like that. Yeah, we talk about that all the time. What a way to just get into the market. Get yeah, in, get start in. building the equity. Get in. You don't have to be there forever. Yeah, Stay, get, get your foot in the door. That is mm -hmm. the most important thing. I work with a lot of first time home buyers, mm -hmm. and I always tell them, I said, yeah, I wanted the, the three car garage and the pool, the jacuzzi, and the, yep. you know, the, all the armies and the bells and the whistles. Yep. But unfortunately, I was able to just get my foot in the door. Then three or four years later, I was able to sell that property, take that equity, and then move it over to something that I really wanted. That's and right. then start bring, building my way up to my dream home. Yeah, there's yeah. a strategy behind it. And you're yeah. helping people do that for themselves. I, I love absolutely that. love it, love it, love it. Well, Garth, thanks so much for sharing this coming soon with Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for you. having me. Absolutely. All right, take care. Do you have a home that you'd like to feature on the block? Go to modernmedianetwork.com to submit your next listing. Who knows, you might just see us on the block.